Hello, today we are going to be introducing ArcGIS App Studio, which is a low code and no code platform that allows you to create applications that are able to better leverage the capabilities of your device. By low code or no code, what we mean is that uh, you don't have to write any code because we provide you with layouts, samples, and even application templates that out of the box you can be able to customize and create the application that you need uh, to suit your goals. So you don't have to do any code sometimes so we get into the application and this is how the interface looks like what you can see is some applications prepared before we click on new app and today we're going to be using a template uh, specifically the MapViewer template so click on that after clicking on the MapViewer template uh, we're going to give it a title so let's call it mapper because yeah it's a map viewer and then just click create so after the application has been created we just click on run and see what has been initialized and we can see that first of all it has the option to view either web maps or offline maps by offline maps you mean these are maps that you can download and use later even in areas whereby you don't have any any connectivity okay and then after we've seen this remember this is just out of the box no customization has been done uh, we're going to click on the three three dots on the top the three lines rather and we're going to see the about info about the application and this is also something you can customize to better suit your organization so let's go to settings and start the customization process first of all we're going to start with the details we change the name we called it mapper and then we can also change the summary about the application and call it an application that allows you to view your maps and then we can also change the description of the application the tags the tags allow you to better identify it in case you have multiple applications our tags are what we use to know which one it is talking about so we can call this uh, kenya hashtag or hashtag kenya and then we can also include information about use of access and constraints in case you have any click apply and then after that now we come to resources so under resources first of all you can change the application icon how that does it look on your device uh, so click on the image and this will allow you to get into your files and choose an app an image that better suits your organization as well as the theme that you're trying to have and then after th doing that we can also change the launch image similar process you can do the same again and we are able to even preview what will be provided what the users will see at the end of the day so that you have a better understanding of how to look so yes click on apply again once you're satisfied apply and then after that now we come to properties uh, this is information about the application uh, so let's start with the background image we can change that also to suit the theme of your organization so let's click on background import yes we can change also the brand color uh, the feedback email the text so for feedback let's say feedback at sg.com or feedback at example.com your company add that feedback at mapper.com and then just click on apply so that these settings are applied to the application then after that first of all you're going to come to capabilities what do you want to use remember we want to take advantage of higher device capabilities so let's use higher accuracy location bluetooth uh, in case we want to have biometrics we can enable that audio cameras and microphones um, so that later we can even be able to customize it to collect data then we come to devices this is where we figure out what device you want it optimized for okay we can build for desktop tablets and mobile phones uh, in all orientations yes then before we come to register first of all what you have to do is go to upload so that um, the application is available in ArcGIS online and then you can register it later so just click on upload it will give you the options to sign in into ArcGIS online if you've not done that and choose uh, the sharing op options that you want to have do you want it to be personal shared within your organization or available to the public 
and then after that it's going to upload so after it's uploaded uh, let's come back to settings again okay and first of all we are going to come let's come back to settings and back to licensing click on licensing and just click on register and the id will be generated automatically after that click on agis runtime licensing and also that will be generated automatically and then click on apply okay then after that after we've seen that we are going to start thinking about the platforms we want to build first give it a package name and ensure that this is unique because if any com conflicts occur it's usually a problem so call it com.example.mapper we can call it that and also click on apply then we also want to build one for windows we can also have the same settings applied here okay and then after you've done that let's generate the product ig product id rather and the package name we are going to select make to build the application and then select cloud make and we are building for android and windows since that is what i'm currently using analyze build and then request build if everything is okay and we are going to generate the files that will be installed in the device uh, you're going to use the link at the top under build status and from there you'll be able to download the installation files and run them from your device so that's it we've been able to build the fully functional application from start to finish without having to do any coding at all thank you let's build